Hi, this is Jamie and Katie from the AT department with a video about the Keeble keyboard app for an iPad. Now the type of student who would need to use this app is one who has limited mobility or decreased fine motor skills or a student who can't hit the button when typing. So this Keeble app allows for increased accessibility on the iPad. So we would have installed the Keeble keyboard on the student's iPad. It looks like this. Um, we're going to first, before we go into the Keeble keyboard, we're going to go into the general iPad settings because we want to make sure that we have access to the Keeble keyboard. So on the left hand side, you have general selected. On the right hand side, we're going to scroll down to keyboard. Now here it shows your keyboards. These are all the keyboards that we have. Um, we're going to add a new keyboard because we have the keyboard, the Keeble keyboard app. So here where it says Keeble, we touch there. English US, toggle on, and done. And so now when you click on the English US Keeble, allow full access. You need to make sure that it's toggled on to allow full access. So now we're going to go back into the Keeble keyboard app. So it's this orange keyboard. Okay, so you're going to go up to keyboard settings. Um, the very first thing you can do is you can change, you can test your settings. So when you test, it'll show you what the keyboard looks like. Um, you, we can change the layout of what it looks like by going back to keyboard settings and just clicking theme. So if we like the colorful one, we'll test it out. Do you like the colorful one? We'll ask the student. Maybe they like... Um, that you can customize it. Maybe I like purple. So I'll go back to test it. Yeah, I like that one. So it's really a matter of preference for the theme. For the layout, you can also change it from being a QWERTY keyboard to an ABC keyboard. So let's test what that looks like. So then it goes ABCs. Um, that would be great for like a kindergarten student who doesn't know where all the different letters are yet. Exactly. But tell me what a QWERTY keyboard is again. So when you go back to keyboard settings in the layout, you select QWERTY. So QWERTY is just the way that it, all standard keyboards are organized in um, our country. So it's nice to get to know how the QWERTY keyboard looks. Uh, and that can be a really useful setting. So go back to keyboard settings. Um, we also, it, word prediction is a feature on here. You can turn it off if word prediction gets distracting. Some students will just um, type word prediction words without typing um, the letters. So you can turn that on or off. When the word prediction is on though, you can change the number of uh, suggestions that come up. Um, the suggestion order, you can make it alphabetical or the words that are the most likely to be selected. So my name, so name comes right up because it's the most likely. So I'll select name at the top there. Is, is is the most likely. So that's the word prediction. Um, we When we go down to the access features, um, the you can make it so that the student can't repeat the backspace key if they keep deleting. Um, so you can turn that on and off. But one of my favorite features for this keyboard, the reason we love this keyboard so much, is the alternative access. This is probably the most important feature here. So you're going to toggle alternative access on. So this allows you to select on dwell or to select on release. So if the student can pick their hand up but they have a hard time putting their finger down right on the first uh, correct key, uh, select on release can be a good one. So this means I can put my finger down anywhere and wherever I pick my finger up, that's the one that is selected. Pick it up, pick it up, and then up to word prediction, pick it up. Okay, but if you have a hard time picking your finger up, then maybe we want to try down to alternative access, select on dwell. <coughs> So this means that when we test, you can keep your finger down on the screen the whole time, and I'm going to hold it on M, select, hold it on Y, select, hold it on space, select. So the person doesn't have to actually pick their finger up to be typing. And we also have a great auditory feedback 
Q. So when you click here, you can turn auditory feedback on and off. Um, if you want it to speak the words, uh, was that I'm doing not that? To hear it. Oh, right. So you're not able to hear that uh, feature on this um, training. But what it would look like is every time that you type a word, it's going to, you hit the space bar, the iPad would say my. So this is really good feedback if you have some early spellers who might misspell words. When they hear the word that they've just typed, they know that's not right. I might have to go and change the way I spelled that word. So this is just an early introduction into the Keeble keyboard. If we want to go back out into using the Keeble keyboard, say we're in a dock, this is the, um, the keyboard that's going to probably come up by default. If we want to change that keyboard, you click the, the globe like I just did and, and hold it down and then select English US Keeble. And then your Keeble keyboard with all the settings will come back up. All right, we hope you have enjoyed this video. And remember, you, you have, have the power. power.